Not all. Yeah. And uh, that's when I got hit. And one bullet came through right here, just missed my shoulder and went into the instrument. Do you think it was those three guys that you saw as you were oh, exiting I know. the airport? I, I, I know it was the ones in that tower, yeah. Wow. Because I turned away from them and they turned to the right. Even though you're doing about 350 knots, they still got it. Uh, I was doing 525 when I went into the airfield, but of course I didn't slow down yeah. a lot over yeah. that. But when I put over that uh, gun station, I was probably doing uh, 250, 275, 300. And either way you turned, either way you would have turned, they would have had some shot at you. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I'd have kept going straight, it would have got me better. And I, I tried to use the base right. But, so the plane flew for another 45 minutes, 30 minutes? Yeah. I, I prayed that I'd get 5,000 feet, but then once I get out of 5,000 feet to bail out. The way you bailed out, you rolled upside down and fell out. You needed 5,000 feet to do it. You go. Right. So, uh, so that was the number. That was the critical so number. So I got the 5,000 feet. I was scared to bail out. So I figured, I figured, well, as long as the engine keeps running, I'll keep going Are you leaking fluids at all? Are you leaking any engine fluids or anything? Oh, my windshield was loaded with oil. I couldn't see a thing. I rolled the canopy back and looked it out the side. And uh, when I got 5,000 feet, I, like I said, I was scared of that. I figured, well, I'll fly two west as long as it Right. When the engine quits, I'll bail out. Right. When the engine starts to quit, I still live with it. <laughs> so I stay with it. I crash landed in a field. Wow. So you said you were an ace. How many turtles did you have? Four out of five. I've got two others that I can take back. Wow. So you're right in the whole battle of Bastogne thing. Yeah. Now you're right in the whole battle of Bastogne. Of Bastogne, kind of time here. Oh, right. Battle of the Bones. Battle of the Bones. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, the only two bombing missions I made was going the American uh, advantage over the Germans when the Germans were fleeing back. We bombed the Britons behind them. I see. And they didn't get too far back. Right. Outside of that, uh, 45 of my missions were primarily escorting and then targets of opportunity. German locomotives. We destroyed 940 German locomotives in our fighter group. But for a lot of those locomotives full of ammunition and, and, uh, and gasoline, right? The, well, when you hit them in the, in the steam will come out. Dead and they to a hole. It, it was easy sailing at first. We destroyed about, oh, maybe three, four hundred of them before they started putting guns on the box of them. I lost the plate leader, I lost the ring man, coast station, station engines with box cars. MP-51. Yeah. yeah. Damn, so they... 50, 51 wouldn't take any of these. It would. Really? A P-47 would take an engine, a uh, uh, cylinder got clean off. Right. Ours wouldn't take much of paint at all. Right. One or two bullets through the engine and you were done. Wow. So they put the Germans put the gunners on the on the box car, and yeah. they were somewhat efficient with it. Once the in a train while. was going along, when we started shooting the engine, the box car sides would fall off, and it would start to Oh my god! Down. And meanwhile, you're pointed at the engine, and you're getting shot at from the rear of the, tr uh, the from train. The side, yeah. Well, I mean, my flight leader, when he got hit, and I was right behind. He just went up over the engine, rolled over, and went up head first. He didn't have time to bail out. You weren't. No, he didn't. What neighbor? What neighbor? Right on the ground. Hey, here comes our military vehicle we parade. Right, we went right in. Led right by the head. ubiquitous right Jeep. Produced both by Willie and, and then the then motor company. The engine Ford at the request the of Frank Roosevelt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came back around and went to the guy off. We produced wow. enough of it. What's your name? Your name? Hi. Lead him John. L-E-D-O-M-J-O-H-N. I was an ace with the 55th Fighter Group. Where do you live now? Uh, between Downing Town and Coastal, Chester County. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was a real honor. Yeah. Yeah. Great.
That's pretty Love cool. It. How old were you in this photo? 25. I was so, older than some of the guys. You were older. Oh my goodness, yeah. I see yeah. my good friend, uh, Teresa. I was, I was 26 uh, when I got discharged in January of 46. My goodness, like then I flew this three years in the it Air Force cool. Reserve. I flew out of Reading here. Did you really? And I tell great, people, great, great I take off and, get, and climb up to 5,000 feet. And I can look and down I and see the Oliver Bay and the Chesapeake Bay boat from Reading. I live on the Chesapeake Bay. That's pretty. Yeah. I live on the Chesapeake Bay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. you can see it from up there. And our wow. lovely songstress. You had to have some out. Do we get yeah. the lovely and talented Teresa Neiman? I'll be 90 years Teresa old. Is, uh, wow. One of our yeah. very own ready Wow. Who has uh, the Lord's been good to you? The Lord's been good to you. But still comes back every year. Then.